Good Saturday. We are looking at more showers now in the forecast. We have started March and finally that rain and those snow showers have arrived. We'll expect the snow level right around 4500 to 5000 feet and we could see snow totals closer to about four to six inches and some locally about eight to 10 inches in the highest peaks could see as much as about a foot, even a foot and a half of snowfall. Very nice for those snowboarders and those skiers out there. Now we will see some valley rain about a tenth to a half inch, really just depending on where you are because we are looking at scattered showers. So that really isn't just one flood of rain pushing through. We're just looking at spotty areas of showers, and this will contribute to some winter weather advisories that'll be taking place here for the CR until about 10 p.m. Saturday. We're also looking at a lake wind advisory in effect in that yellow shade for some of the higher elevations here around Lake Tahoe, and this will be in effect until about 4 p.m. Now for Sunday morning, we will start to see this freeze watch take place. So the overnight hours into Sunday morning, we'll see some freezing temperatures around Fort Bragg, Ukiah, Clear Lake areas, some of the bigger cities out there and by the coastal region. So that'll be until 10 a.m. on Sunday, just so you're aware of that. Now we have several low pressure systems off the west coast and the jet stream really pushing up parallel to the west coast up and over and toward Canada. Now this isn't going to last too much longer. We will see this cold front associated with some of these lows uh, moving through California for your Saturday and then taping off tapering off, I should say, as we move into Sunday. So here's what's going on here. We have a lot of these uh, frontal systems that are pushing through, bringing us scattered showers just for the coastal area, starting off the morning and then into the valley around 10 a.m. We'll continue to see that in the Sierra through the afternoon hours. And let's talk about how much rain and when we could see this rain arrive. Now, as we move through the morning hours around 7 a.m., you're primarily seeing most of that rain closer to the Bay Area with a few sp spotted scattered showers, I should say, moving toward Sacramento as we continue on around 8 a.m. or so. And then the early afternoon hours, we could see it around 12 and 1. And then finally into your evening and Sunday morning, 4.30 a.m., you are looking at still some Sierra snowfall happening there, as well as some areas of the foothills with some of those showers continuing. Otherwise, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies as we move through your Sunday. So we'll see some of that sunshine on Sunday. We're just not going to really see as whole bunch of sunshine like we saw in February with those very warm days. Temperatures will be cooler in the mid to low 60s. All right, let's talk about some of the rain totals, about a tenth of an inch possible in Sacramento. We'll look at some areas closer to that quarter inch mark in Roseville, Stockton, Lodi, and then finally about a half inch Grass Valley and Placerville, third of an inch in Auburn possible. So as the higher you go up there, you are looking at more rain totals in the foothills, and we'll continue to see less of that rain close to areas like Fairfield and in Vacaville, really trace amounts there. OK, let's talk about the snowfall anywhere again from about four to six inches, especially at the lower elevations. And then the higher you go here, we could see as much as about eight to ten inches of snowfall. And the highest elevations again could see as much in these pink shades as about a foot to a foot and a half of snow. So a lot of snowfall still on the way. Not going to be considerable when it comes to really downpours and really needing to chain up after into the afternoon hours. We will need chains early in the morning, especially. But as we start moving in the overnight hours, things should get a little better, especially because temperatures are expected to reach 40 degrees. So you should be able to get through by the afternoon hours into the early evening hours before more of that snow arrives overnight into your Sunday. All right, temperatures are really sticking around these low 60s for the next couple of days, mostly cloudy on Sunday. Now, overnight Sunday to Monday, we do have a quick chance for morning drizzle Monday morning. Otherwise, we'll see some more sunshine Tuesday into Wednesday, low 70s. And then finally, the following weekend, another chance there on Saturday to see more drizzle with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s.